one investigation underway in the Parks Department because of this video. It actually shows a Parks employee restraining a girl who was selling fruit. Grace Gomez joins us live from Lower Manhattan in Bartery Park where this incident took place. Grace. Hey, yeah, Irene, we've all seen fruit vendors around New York City. It's a pretty common thing. But according to authorities, the new the fruit vendor that you're about to see does not have a permit. So they said they had to take action. But it's the way they intervene that has now sparked an investigation. I want you to take a look at this video. You see a woman in a yellow jersey being taken away by authorities. And then you see a child being restrained by a park patrol enforcement officer. Bystanders realize what's happening and jump to assist her. Then you see an NYPD officer joins the park officer to continue restraining the girl. This goes on for a while until the crowd pulls the girl away from the officer and eventually both fall to the ground. The girl gets up and with the help of bystanders breaks free. It all happened on Sunday at the battery after the NYPD and Parks Enforcement Patrol confiscated perishable items from the vendors. The Parks Department say the officer's first course of action is to bring violators into compliance, but when there are repeated offenses, additional measures are taken, such as placing violators under arrest. We actually spoke to Mohammed Atia. He's the managing director of the Street Vendor Project at the Urban Justice Center and says the problem lies with the aggressive enforcement. This is not the first time something like this happens, and it will continue to happen over and over again as long as we have these outdated vending laws. Yang, according to Atia, it's up to the city council hands to update those laws. Of course, we'll have more on that at 6 p.m. Reporting live from Lower Manhattan, Grace Gomez, Pix 11 News. You know, vendors